Ambrose Louis Garneret was a French painter, writer, and corsair. He was born in 1783 and had a fascinating life that intertwined with the world of art and maritime adventures. Garneret's artistic style can be described as diverse and versatile. He had the ability to capture the essence of different scenes and subjects, showcasing his talent in both maritime paintings and land-based artworks. In addition to his artistic endeavors, Garneret's life was marked by his experiences as a corsair and his time as a prisoner of war. His adventures at sea provided him with unique perspectives and inspirations for his artwork, making his creations truly distinctive. Ambrose Louis Garneret, born in 1783, was not only a painter but also a French corsair and writer. He had an adventurous life, serving under famous corsairs Robert Surcouf and Jean-Marie de Turter. However, his life took a turn when he was captured by the British and spent eight years as a prisoner of war during the Napoleonic Wars. Despite this setback, Garneret continued his career as a painter after his repatriation. He created numerous artworks that showcased his experiences at sea and his love for marine themes. Some notable works include, Confian's Kent Fight, Marine, Pirate Ship, The Naval Battle of Navarino, and, Cherbourg Took the Rule Mountain. These paintings not only depict naval battles but also capture the beauty and power of the sea. Garneret's unique perspective as a former corsair adds depth and authenticity to his artistic creations. After his release from captivity, Garneret dedicated himself to painting and writing. His artistic style reflects his first-hand experiences as a corsair and prisoner. He was known for his skillful use of color and attention to detail, which brought his marine subjects to life. Garneret's works often portrayed the dramatic moments of naval battles, capturing the intensity and chaos of the seas. Some notable paintings from this period include, Naval Battle of Augusta, Capture of Kent by Surcouf Garneret, and, The Taking of the, Kent, by Robert Surcouf in the Gulf of Bengal. These artworks showcase Garneret's ability to convey action and emotion through his brushstrokes. His talent as a painter, combined with his eventful life experiences, made him a respected figure in the art world. Towards the end of his life, Garneret continued to produce art and write about his experiences. He became known for his detailed and vivid depictions of marine life and naval scenes. In his later years, he explored new artistic techniques and experimented with different styles, showcasing his versatility as an artist. Notable works from this period include, Butterly Navale Nocturne, Palerm, 31 by 1676, Pecci de la Baleine, and, He Ship of Jules Dumont d'Urville stuck in an ice floe in Antarctica. These paintings demonstrate Garneret's continued passion for marine subjects and his ability to capture the essence of the sea. His contributions to the art world and his unique perspective as a former corsair and prisoner make him a significant figure in art history. In conclusion, Ambrose Louis Garneret, the French painter, writer, and corsair, had a remarkable life that greatly influenced his art. His diverse and versatile style allowed him to capture both maritime and land-based scenes with great skill. Garneret's experiences as a corsair and prisoner of war added depth and authenticity to his paintings, particularly in his portrayal of naval battles and marine themes. His unique perspective and attention to detail made him a respected figure in the art world. Throughout his career, Garneret continued to innovate and experiment, showcasing his versatility as an artist. His contributions and unique life story solidify his significance in art history.